Hey folks, in today's video, I'm gonna show you something that I don't believe has ever been recorded before, and that is I'm going to use this Uten Nano. This is a portable espresso machine. I'm gonna use this to make a cappuccino completely off the grid. Now, all the other videos that I've seen demonstrating this Uten Nano have been just straight up espresso shots. But if you're like me, and I think really the vast majority of espresso coffee drinkers, you know, most of us are adding something to the coffee. And so today I'm gonna to show you, I'm gonna attempt at least, to make a cappuccino completely off the grid using this Uten Nano. Now, if you're watching this, chances are you've probably seen this and you're somewhat familiar with it already. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail on it, but what you're seeing here is everything that comes with the Uten Nano. You've got basically your, your filter basket for your coffee grinds. They also give you one for some pods there. I'm not gonna make use of that myself. They give you a nice little scoop here and kind of a tamper, a dual purpose. And then you've got your porta filter that you got to screw on tight and your lid for the top. And they also give you this, this nice little cup here that you can brew into. Then they've got a, a quick start guide here. This is really nice the way they printed this up with you know probably 80% of the information that you need to know to use it. And then they do have, of course, a traditional owner's manual that's more detailed. All right, so like I said, today we're gonna be making a cappuccino completely off the grid with the Uten Nano Espresso Machine. This is my off-grid camping setup, by the way. It's my overlanding trailer. If you're interested in a full tour, I'll put a card up above. But to get started with, let's talk about the, the coffee grinds here. So I went ahead and filled this ahead of time using a burr grinder that I have at my house. And sometimes when I go camping, I'll go ahead and make some, some fresh ground coffee here and put it in a little canister like this. And then they give you a nice little scoop. And wow, <laughs> this smells so good. I can't wait to try it. But they give you this little scoop here and then you can use it as a tamper as well. They tell you to fill it to about 80%. And so you can see there, that's about where I've got it right now. And basically this is your filter basket. And so then you put the, the lid on it. It's got a little O-ring on the outer portion there. And then you're gonna put this inside this porta filter that basically screws onto the bottom of the cap, the coffee maker here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And the idea is that, you know, depending on what your plans are for the day, you might do the, the coffee grinds ahead of time, screw it on just like I did. This is, you know, not gonna spill now that it's on there. And then you can go about your hike or whatever you're planning for the day and everything's ready in there. The only thing you gotta do is then fill this up with water on top. And so to do that, I'm gonna be using this little water canister right here, and we're gonna go ahead and fill it up to they recommend 50 milliliters. We're gonna go just over that 50 milliliter line, just regular fresh filtered water. And then you go ahead and put your, your top on there. And so then you could essentially take this on a hike if you wanted and you know use it to make espresso on the go. But like I said, today we're gonna to be doing a, a cappuccino. Now, the big thing with a cappuccino or a macchiato or even a latte is, okay, you're gonna be using milk obviously to add to the coffee. And so this is going to heat up your water. It's gonna brew the coffee, make that espresso shot. It's not gonna do the, the milk, however, but most of us, if we're out camping, have some kind of heat source because we're cooking, right? So I'm just gonna put my milk here in this little pitcher, and then I'm gonna put it on my Blackstone griddle over here to heat up. And so I'm gonna let that heat up while we're brewing the coffee. Hopefully everything will be about the right temperature. And then I'm going to use this right here to, to kind of whisk the, the milk there and froth it up real nicely. I'm also gonna time it here so we can kind of get an idea of the, the time. And I'm gonna use this cup to brew the initial shot into. So again, my water's cold here. Let's go ahead and hold this button down for two seconds. There it goes. And I'm gonna start the time as well so you can see and basically these lights are going to illuminate when it's all heated up. And so this is gonna take a little bit because that water is cold, but think about it, this is pretty neat because this is all running off of an internal battery. It's completely off the grid, and it's actually gonna heat up that water to the proper temperature, and then with the pump, extract our espresso. So we're gonna sit here and wait for it, and then I'll report back once it's fully heated up and ready to brew. So I fast forwarded that obviously, but that was about four minutes and 20 seconds. And now it is using the pump to brew the espresso shot. 
So let's see how long it takes to brew that shot. Oh, it smells so good right now. Wow. Okay, looks like it's just about finishing up here. And there we go. So a little bit longer on the, the shot there, but let's take a quick look at it here. So we're just gonna lift this off here. Wow, okay, that smells really good. Check this out. Look, it's even got some crema on top there. Really neat, okay. So I'm gonna pour this into my coffee cup here. And then let's see if my milk, it looks like it's, it's pretty well heated up here. So let's see if I can froth this up. I've actually never done this before off the grid like this, so hopefully this will, will work here. You gotta be careful not to go too high and spill over the top. I think, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Whoops. Just a little bit of a mess there. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we've got some nice uh, frothed milk here. So, we'll go ahead and pour that in. And <laughs> look at that, guys. Okay. So, not, not too bad. Now, it smells absolutely amazing. But let's give it the taste test and see what it actually tastes like. Wow, that is really good. And I think what I'm so impressed by is I could be anywhere completely off the grid, you know, out in the middle of the wilderness or the national forest, and I can have a cappuccino, a freshly brewed cappuccino off the grid anywhere in the world. I mean, that's what's so impressive about the, the Uten Nano. The temperature is just right. It's, it's nice and hot. It's not lukewarm. And one thing I forgot to mention on the grounds, I've noticed after using this that it prefers the grounds to be just a little bit coarser perhaps than maybe your machine at home. And so I ground my coffee just a little bit coarser to get that uh, espresso shot that you saw there. But this is really good. I'm, I'm really impressed. Well, I'm going to call that a complete success. You know, I'm really impressed that I was able to make a cappuccino a, a really good tasting cappuccino completely off the grid thanks to the the Uten Nano. Now you can make other drinks of course, you can make a latte, you can make a, a macchiato. Like I said I used my Blackstone griddle over here to heat up that that milk but if you're not interested in adding milk you could also make an Americano. You could use the Uten Nano to heat up extra water and add it to your shot of espresso so that's pretty neat. Now as far as battery life on this guy and I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I found in real world usage, you can get typically about three shots of espresso on a single charge using cold water. You know, maybe if you heat that water up, you can get four. And if you're doing empty loads of water, maybe maybe five there just heating up the water alone. But I'm really impressed. I mean, this is a game changer in the sense that you can be anywhere off the grid and you can have a quality shot of espresso, make whatever kind of coffee is your preference completely off the grid. So I'm really impressed by that. Now for the disclosure part of the video, Uten sent me this portable espresso maker to do this video and asked me to give my honest feedback and opinions. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed by it. Now I'm gonna include a link to this portable espresso maker along with everything else you've seen in the video if you're interested in purchasing. So I appreciate you using those affiliate links below. If you got any questions, definitely drop me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.